Jimadeism. It's Jimadeism. You're right now looking at the smallest map ever in Garry's mod. This is absolutely tiny. Oh my god. So I thought this was a little larger map. Uh, I have looked at a cool train map before and I do not remember which one of you who suggested this, but I got this map to look at as a suggestion and I had it in my should look at soon list and I finally started to deal with that list again. So here it is. This is GM Sleepy Train. A workshop uh, item uh, from Dines uh, link in description as normal and well I thought it was a little bit larger we're gonna look at the earlier train map we looked at before just for some comparison but like you can see here it's a coupe we can close off the lights so that's nice so now it's very dark um, there is a light switch here too so we can open this and you might imagine we could go out of here wrong you can't stay in your coupe well very welcome you know uh, we can't use uh, like we can't sit using e on the benches but we can use the i have the sit anywhere script so um as you can see you can kind of sit here whoops now i accidentally unset myself there we go can you like come on thank you okay so we have it on and we sit here very nice uh, so as you can see here um, I can sit using the script uh, you can you can find that in the in my like little collection of stuff but well this is kind of it I must say it's it's very relaxing and it's pretty cozy and stuff like that but man this is a small map I was really like shocked it's literally this we can close off this light, we can close off this light, and if we do, we're like uh, very much in the dark. Now it's kind of difficult to shift sit here and not activate the lights at the same time. Okay, there we go. Now we activated it. Well, as you can see, uh, it's very, 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 very like this. We can't climb up these, but we can shift sit up here, so at least we can, you know, I guess sit here and sleep and like this is literally the map uh, I'm <laughs> I mean it's cozy and all let us shut off these lights and see how much we can see outside I don't know um, well not very much and I guess it's intentionally made like that if we fly out you can see I did it before I started recording and I was like, what the hell is this it? And yes, this is it. So here we basically have, uh, if we turn on our headlight, we can see we kind of have some terrain going on on the outside here. Uh, so you can see now the uh, flashlight doesn't work on the uh, outside. Um, like this because it's in the cube map and the cube map is right beside here so if we go here uh, it of course works so basically the window is placed outside here like this I don't even know exactly why there would be any need to have a even rail texture going on here because you know you can't really see it but you know this is basically it we have some layered um, wood surfaces making this illusion and I mean um, you can probably use this map to relax or something like that I should actually I will make a video with this map on my uh, other channel Jimmyism relaxation if you want some relaxing content you should check that out but anyways uh, let's look at the previous map review we looked at if we want a, uh, a proper train here we have it, train ride day and train ride kind of ish night. I think the day is better. Here we go. This is a proper train map. You see what I mean? We can walk around in this. We can even open this. And as you can see, here we are between the trains. And we can even climb up it here. Very dangerous. 
And like a real train, like you shouldn't do, if you fa f fall out, you'll die very much. So don't do that. Yeah, and, and this is this is like a proper little train map. Now, the train isn't actually moving. The train is just shaking. It's actually the background that is moving. But uh, we already looked at this in an earlier map review. So I won't, uh, I will not bore you with this anymore. But uh, now you have seen the smallest map available in this uh, game. I'm wondering if we can kind of... I think we can jump over to the other train. If I remember correctly, it's not completely safe to do this. And this doesn't work as well, but it works. Yeah. And now we can't get back. If we were gonna use... Let's try. <clears throat> okay. Stupid. In any case, uh, that's, that's how it is. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, map review, however. Now you know. Uh, and I don't know. About the map, let's go back. Yeah, about this map, it's very hard to rate it. Um, you can use it for like relaxing background sounds or something. You can put on your game and just start this and just make it sit there and you can do other stuff. Um, so, you know, you can use it for that. You can use it for movie, like clips. If you want to do some cinematic stuff or something, you might have this as a scene. Other than that, it's utterly useless, uh, but it has a very niche use. It's not trying to be a world map or anything like that. So I can't really give it a, a uh, rating like that because I don't know what it does. It's a little bit low poly for being um, a kind of uh, like decorate, decorative map. Uh, it's a little low poly to be a... It's nice we have the blue light going on there, but it's just a little bit, so I may... If we're gonna rate it as a cinematic map, as a specific scene, I would give it a 7 out of 10. It's pretty cool, I've seen nothing like this, but uh, it could be a little bit better resolution textures everywhere uh, since it's only doing this. In any case, uh, hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and I'll see you next time. We'll check out Jimodism Relaxation if you want to see some there. Uh, anyways, this is your host Jimodism. We're signing out.